Hi right, folks, welcome back to Pokemon Uranium, and we are now officially hitting uh, Victory Road with the style of Panache you'd expect us with, which is yeah, none. Yeah, and we immediately run into a Gabriel. <laughs> as hard as you mean to go on, lads. <laughs> oh no, this, this better not be all Victory Road has. No, uh, well, as, we were, as I was saying earlier on, like um, Victory Road does actually have like a quite a diverse um, flora and fauna, if you like. Okay, uh, well that's good. Just hopefully we can kill this one and we won't deal with any more of these. Sure. Um, hmm. We'll see how that goes. But like I said, yep. we, um, we, we've shoveled the pack a little bit. We've introduced the two um, token late game strong Pokemon into the team to see if they'll do any yep. better. Um, and as you can see, it's actually done a decent job of itself there. But obviously Volchik has a long way to go. Oh, that can that can always happen, and that's always like when you get something late game, they mm. can it uh, takes such an amount of work to get them, but uh, they're so worth it. Like you just take a look, what was it? Um, there's no way to get a Beldum before Stephen yeah. Stone gives one to you at the end of Emerald, and there's no way to get a Larvitar before Mount Silver, and they Lar Larvitar all... is the best one of that, isn't it? Like it's it's a case of like. You get it and you think, oh, that's nice, that's cute. But you already have your team and you're facing the last battle. Yeah. <laughs> but it's well, just no, case uh, like... Bel Beldum's after the Elite Four. Oh, you're right to, actually, yeah. Jesus, yeah. You, you you cannot have a Metagross going into the Elite Four unless you got it in a trade. Yeah, Jeez, you're right to, yeah. I can believe yeah. about that. I had in my head it was after the seventh gym, but no, you're right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, wait a second, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't have Magical Bounce. Mm. That's a uh, always think whenever you go up against an Espeon is I better not do any do any stat changing stuff on it. <laughs> no, unfortunately, I think uh, I, this is probably one that has like the inner focus uh, yeah. ability. I'd say or say or synchronize probably would be the yeah would be the like one there. Oh, this this is fun. Oh no. That Again, one. I don't know if it's something with just RPG Maker Pokemon games, but the logic is so obvious. It's just like, uh, no, health is less than 50, heal. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, well, sure. You, it's it's like you, you can give off about a uh, broken AI there, but like, do you remember Twitch Plays Pokemon back in the day? <laughs> back, what was it? Jesus Christ, that was uh, about seven, was eight years ago at this stage. About that, yeah. Yeah, fucking hell. But uh, I, I was only on that that I had found um, the logic was so bad in uh, red, blue, and yellow that mm. uh, it said, "Okay, do I have a move that the opponent is weak to? If yes, use that move." It doesn't take anything else in consideration. So when Dragonite went up against the Venomoth, it used Barrier because Barrier is a psychic move. And yes. that is good against the poison. Doesn't matter that it didn't do damage. Oh fuck, Terabit's down. Doesn't matter that it didn't do damage. It just mm. kept spamming, spamming like, barrier. It's like you take move, yeah. Yes. So, like, this shit has always been broken. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. Like, I mean, it's it's and like I said, RPG Maker is a very it's a very simplified system. Like, it's designed that way. And and yeah. as is often the case with these kind of projects, it's only as good as the person adding new code into it. You know. Yeah. Like I said, I've actually yeah. just recently started playing Insurgents again, and I've actually kind of appreciated how decently it's coded, but they've also sacrificed the fact that, like, they haven't done any new any uh, animations to it, if you know what I mean. So they haven't done as what Uranium have done with, like, their own unique animations and stuff like that. They just kind of kept the basics from the the, the set they had in, in RPG Maker, which is fine. There's yeah. nothing wrong with that, you know? And... Um, it's, it's very much kind of like, it's just kind of focused on the actual like challenge of the game itself, let's say. Mm. So if you're going up against a tough battle, it's a, it's a tough battle. It's not because of like contrived or broken stuff or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because they've designed the, the battle quite well to be almost almost like a kind of a small gun level type of battle, you know, where everyone, there's a bit of synergy going on in the team. So, um, yeah, I have to give it, I have to give applause for that. Like, um, not to say, of course, that this game doesn't either. It's, I think most fan games do have an extra level of challenge anyway, because they do kind of yeah. know what their audience will be. Oh, yeah, speaking of Paraboom, Boken, here's that Paraboom. Yeah, I still, like, Paraboom should have been uh, 
Oh, I, I would go back and forth should Power Boom have worked its way onto the team or not. Because its ability, it, it's its stat boosting made it insane to fight against. Mm. But I, at the same time, it can be uh, one that you can see how others would abuse it. But if yeah. you're not, the, if if you're not the player character, you don't get, you don't see that benefit. You don't get the luxury of it sometimes because it's just like, ah, yeah. yeah. Just, this power boom, this, this power boom is the shittest one in the planet, and you happen to catch it, and. Yeah, that's that, that. That just has you fucking dead to rights already. Yeah. But I, again, I was I, I still kind of like maintain the power boom was one of those ones that wasn't meant to be good. It just happened to be broken. If you know yeah. what I mean. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't think of a real life equivalent except for maybe Smeargle, where it's just like well, Bre- like Bomb Smeargle. Kangaskhan. I don't think they intended for it to be as insane as it was. Actually, yeah, actually, Kangaskhan's a good shout there with the mega. Yeah. Um, Definitely. Like, yeah, that, that, like that, oh, oh this will be a great gimmick, and it didn't go through the fault. It didn't go through enough. The QC yeah. testing. <laughs> That's what happens when you think of a gimmick and don't follow it through, lads. Yep. You can tell why you're practicing the megas after a while, can't you? <laughs> it's just like, nah, it's too uh, much work. Okay. We haven't got time. Speaking of megas, then, have you been listening around on any of the leaks on the upcoming Diamond and Pearl game? I haven't seen any to be honest with you. But to be fair, I haven't been, I haven't been looking that much. Um, mm. Oh, Sonic the Hedgehog! I <laughs> wish he was better. <laughs> so, do, considering I used him in my first playthrough, so do I, James. Yeah. So do fucking I. Yeah. Electric um, ground is just not a good system. It really no, isn't. it really isn't. Anything that's anything that has quad weaknesses, especially to yeah. something as common as ground, is never going to never going to last long when, it, when it's um, weak to itself I think that's a that's a sad state of affairs you know I mean any dragon type but um, mm, true but uh, no on the diamond and pearl they had different cro- now this is people really reading the tea leaves on this but mm. different like mar- marketing merch crowds have uh, after the Diamond and Pearl got announced, put out new lines of merch that had Lucario and Mega Charizard on it, and yeah. the thinking if they if they're thinking with these guys, the big big brain thinking is that they wouldn't be doing that unless there was going to be a tie-in, and the mm. tie-in could be in Diamond and Pearl. Which... I mean, it, it, it is possible, like because that, that's the that's the thing about about doing stuff like that is that uh, with how many like especially this kind of ties into fucking Jesus Christ. Um, oh, how, okay. Wait, there's one had KO move. Okay. Yeah, it was guillotine. Yeah. But um. Oh well, full check out. No, nope. I would have even just put full check full check out to swap it out for something else. Oh, it has the XP share anyway, so it's it's fine. Get more. Could have gotten. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, hopefully you get some grinding going this, uh, like before the end of the session because you're still woefully under-leveled. Oh, de- definitely, yeah. Um, but as, as far as I know, um, yeah, well, I, I do cut out the actual big like grind session that like gets everyone up to level because uh, Good. the Elite Four takes another big spike in, in levels. So yeah, we, we, are, we would be woefully underprepared. Okay, grand. <laughs> But it's also mostly to get like Terabit and, and Volchik actually back yeah. into, into speed. And the annoying thing about those two Pokemon in particular is that they're like stupidly late evolvers. Like, yes. like I can't even stress enough how late they are. Um, are they as bad as um, your standard pseudo legends? So is it up to the 50s before they evolve or is it beyond uh, that? The 60s, I think. Yeah, I think they've gone the whole Hydreigon route with it. Oof, okay. Yeah. That, that one was a rough one. That was always a rough one to try to level up. Yeah, because like <laughs> I remember from the, my original playthrough, it was kind of like daring you to to get rid of it because the, even the ability was the one was a hustle or something where it's not hustle. No, it's um, it's something like that where essentially they've like killed the accuracy so the attack is stronger, and it's just like oh you you, you are. For, you're trying to get me to get rid of this Pokemon, but I know the, I know the inside track. I know what you're trying to pull here. Its ability is um, dun, 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 dun. Oh yeah, its ability is hustle. 
Is it Hustle? Okay. Uh, I, I, that's I, 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 that's Zuelius. Yes. So yeah, yep. Increase the attack and lower the accuracy. That Fair enough. Is... I, I, I thought I had Hustle as something else, but yeah, I think it was. I, was, no, I think it was. That, 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 uh, and that was in black and white. Whenever the level up, the the level up scheme was uh, broken. Yes. In that, like, oh, you killed something that's far lower. Okay, that's worth a lot less points. Mm. Yeah, I recall. So, yeah. gotta give it to black and white though. They they tested a lot of things with that. Yeah, I, like the, the mechanics overall in that game were grand, you know, because it's mm. it's it was certainly like um, I suppose like from 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 Gen Gen four and five onwards, they, they certainly made like a efforts to make things a bit more uh, what's the word uh, logical if that's the right word. You know, so like, um, not like even with the with the physical special splits, that's one thing. And then with the experience, um, kind of uh, the the increments, increments in experience, it makes sense. Like, you know, if you're yeah. picking off like level sevens and level eights, you shouldn't get anything if you're way over above. But if you take down something bigger than you, like that's that's your reward, that's your bonus for taking for hmm. kind of skilling uh, out skilling it, if you like. Still, I'm shocked that he gets a uh, meteor mash. That that's that's just Metagross's move. Mm. It's like one of those where you see um, see a move uh, like something that's like uh, Pokemon, uh, an exclusive move to someone. Yeah, and you see someone else using it. I sense this. Th- I sense they gave him meteor mash as a me- for uh, more so for the attack buff than anything else. Because again. Like yeah. it's a bit slim pickings with with metal links at the minute, so you had to give it something to to justify it, you know. Um, because I think uh, like because with the, like, is, is, is it worth before. keeping him? Is it worth keeping him? For the mega, yeah, like the mega does does pull its weight after a while, um, but it's more so the this is what you get when you have a two stage starter, you know, because you're you probably work with the same um, stat levels as as a normal starter. Sure yeah. Yeah. And but yeah, exactly. So imagine if you stopped if you went kind of halfway between Ivysaur, Ivysaur and um oh yeah, this is a Daft Punk uh, Pokemon by the way. And um, just so you know. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh yeah, I should I should I should have said that to you but before but it's a, it's electric psychic by the way, so it's actually quite good good typing. <laughs> oh, is it too late to get one of those on the team? It yeah, is. Good, I have no idea where you can find it. them. I think they're like uh <laughs> Like one of those special, like weird, not event Pokemon, you know, like like the casino or something like that. That type yeah. of uh, capture. Yeah. Um, I'm sure there's an area post game you can find them. It seems like a lot of the a lot of the Pokemon are post game in this, but um, right. So anyway, yeah. So as you can see, the the fellas here at Victor Road do not fuck around. Like it's uh, no, it's I speed for sure. Oh, well, at the very least, it'll help you level up. Yes, exactly, which we certainly do need because we've been on the level since day one, practically. Yep. But at the same time, you don't want it to be too easy. Of course, of course. It has to be uh, entertaining for the people at home. Oh, yeah. There's tongue firmly in cheek. Again, one thing I do like about uh, Terra of it is the... Uh, Intimidate stats. It it, it it helps. It Always helps good. Always good to have coming right out the gate. Now mm. is he ice and steel or what is his typing again? If I'm not mistaken, it's ice ground. Right. Or is it? I can't recall. I'll know now. Or maybe not. Maybe just fucking share call me instead. <laughs> the one poke. One thing that annoys me with this Pokemon in particular is that it's fast. It is a mammoth. It shouldn't mm. be fast. That's the same thing with um, Mama Swine. Like mm. I, I remember, it, I was surprised at how fast it was whenever we did. Um, I think that was for the X and Y day three. Like Mama the Swine, yeah. I had a, I had it in my Gen six team against. Mm. Oh fucking hell! That's too sheer um, cold. By the way. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Can you go for tree for tree? Thank fuck he missed. <laughs> like honestly, like, that, that would be tree for tree. That's like tree 30% yeah. chances in a row. Which is horseshit. Is it only 30% chance provided he's one he's a level higher than you, or is it not I, I uh, think it's as, as, yeah. he's, 
as he as he gets higher in level, it's more likely he hits. Yeah, I think that is the case. I think it's like if because we're at ten levels down, I think that adds an extra ten percent to the accuracy. Yeah, as far as I know. <laughs> Barry is now pissed. <laughs> so <it's> just, <laughs> right, let's just cut this cat in half. Fuck you. Yeah. Which I can I can totally get behind. I endorse this message. Oh yeah. And yes, it is. It's the difference in level plus thirty percent. Ah, fair enough. So, so now we're oh, fighting. Slim pickings. Never mind. Ooh. That seems to be a new move. Playing in packs. Is it? I thought that was a real move in the real game as well. Like, it sounds so generic. It could very well be rarer move, but. Mm. Uh, nope, that's uh, that's a made up move. Yeah. Sorry, I had kind of I had in my head that was like one of the Victini exclusive moves or something like that. Yeah, because he it, Victini does have a custom move, but I can't. I don't know it offhand. Uh, v create, but it could have had more than one. Yeah. Like, would you not go back and revive it? Would you not go back and heal at this stage? Yeah, I should probably should have, but um, clearly I would just like, wanted to power through and see. Uh, going through those revives at a fierce rate. Yeah, well, that, like I said, that's, that's what happens when you're fucking 10 levels down and two newbies on the team. Yep. I'm not sure why I kept this part in, but uh, let's, just, uh, let's just enjoy this section here. Of yep, me every, just... Everyone dancing. Yes, caramel dancing. It's very strange. All right, there we go. There we go. Please, this is me just actually just going back and uh, restocking. Yep. Oh, well, good. At least you did that. Yes, that's a start, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think, that, I think the rule I had here, if I ever have to backtrack in Victor Road, I just I do speed it up, but anything new, I go on normal speed. So, yeah. That seems to be a fair enough rule. One thing I've never known with uh, Magnitude, is there any logic as to what number gets thrown out, or is it like, is it all just random? It's purely random, as I understand, yeah. Right, okay. I just want, like, it's not random within reason, or. No, like, um, it's a case of like, um, I think you're more, I don't know if it's more likely, but I I feel like from using it, you're more likely to get sixes and sevens, whereas like fours mm. and tens are like the same potential frequency. Um, but again, I, I could be just, that's just me um, guessing. Last really. slug, I don't think we fought him, did we? Well, he's dead now anyway. No, we, we got him, uh, we saw him a few times, it's like the seal analog. Um, oh, nice. he looks like one of the uh, fossils that was made. In does, yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, it's um, it's one of the token electric types. Hmm. But uh, it, it, there's not much to them, really. To be fair, it's just a, it's a very generic um, electric type. 